So I was in Colorado yesterday and I'm trying to get to Vegas by Friday night, which is today is Friday. And so I decided I'm gonna drive halfway. Where the hell is halfway on the map? Where can I stay? Winslow, Arizona. <laughs> Winslow, Arizona. Do you understand, you young people? Y'all don't understand. Bueller. Bueller. Okay, so back in the, I believe it was 70s, maybe early 80s, the Eagles made a song, Take It Easy. And it mentions standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. So, I believe somewhere right here, John Chartier showed it in one of his Facebook lives. There's like a little setup with a truck on the side of the road, a little display, kind of a tribute to the, eh, to the song and making this area, a little bit of popularity to this area. So yeah, let's see if we can find it without running over somebody, without getting a ticket. I've already gotten off the exit. They went the wrong way. So <laughs> that's the way we started this day. So yeah, there's the, Stay at the quality in here last night. It's all right. Little yappy dog. Don't get me started on yappy dogs and hotels because if I wanted to listen to, to yappy dogs, I would have drug one of my own yappy dogs. Right, right. All right, so let's find downtown. Hmm. Hey, maybe I'll find a yard zone. It is early. We need to cross time zones. I'm currently, I think I'm in the, I finally made it to the Pacific, the specific time zone. Yeah, let me use the phone to give me some directions. I'll be back. All right, technology. How do we get anywhere before your phone told you where to hell? Before you can look it up on your phone and tell you exactly how far to get there, how to get there. Uh, yeah, you actually had to be able to read a map and all that fun stuff. I was only like a half a mile away, but I might as well have been Turn 10 miles. Onto West 2nd Street, Old Highway 66. Yes, ma'am. I'm turning left. You know, I'm so thankful for this alien technology that we got at Area 51, right? <laughs> oh, that's another video. <laughs> in 1,000 another... feet, your destination will be on the left. Hot dog. So we'll, we'll take some video. We'll, we'll break out one of the GoPros. 15 hour speed limit. Your speed is 27. All right. So let me switch cameras, and I hope you guys enjoy Winslow, Arizona. While I'm out and gone, y'all listen to the song. Okay. First album was called Run Not Empty, and it was one of the greatest albums out there. And uh, his second album was called For Every Man. Fourth song on that second album. They've got a whole setup here. There's a Route 66 roadside attraction. There's the Red Ford. Y'all gotta realize it's seven o'clock in the morning. There's already people here gathering. Uh, Glenn Fry wrote to eat. The guys are. There's a guy here who knows all about Jackson Brown writing the song for the Eagles on their first album. Take it easy. There's a Route 66. There's a bar across the street. Jackson Brown actually came here in person about a year ago. Said, I see the Crimson like Cruiser on Route 66. That's awesome, man. <laughs> and there's the standing on the corner. I guess that's a bar or a souvenir shop. Yeah, Eagles are uh, playing in the background, so this is probably going to. Still on the All right. <laughs> so the one thing I'll tell you is. Is when you're out here and you're out take time to stop and smell the roses very interesting the gift shop is cool talk to a local uh, i'll switch back to the, the phone camera in a minute and tell you his story and tell you all about just just actually standing stopping and talking to people man you learn so much so let me get in the van and tell you all about this song we'll wrap this video up so i can get on the way to uh las vegas where the fun's really gonna begin right Okay, so are you finished your homework yet? Have you listened to the Eagles song, Take It Easy? Or maybe yet you went old school and listened to Jackson Brown's version. 
So I talked to a local guy who lives here, who's lived here for quite some time and knows all about the history of the area. So evidently in the early 70s, coming out of Canada on his, on his way to California, because back in that time, if you were a songwriter, you wanted to be in California, that's where the scene was. So he was he was on his way and his car broke down here in Winslow, Arizona. A block, a block off at an old station was where he was. And so he just had a lot of stuff on his mind, started, started writing a song and he finished he actually saw the the ford and mentioned in the in flagstaff and there's actually the place where there's the place where he was eating while he was writing the song they've memorialized that part of it as well flagstaff's about 100 miles from here maybe 120. so the statue was actually at a different place the one of jackson brown but when the the mayor bought the the new gift shop he wanted everybody to come closer to his you know imagine that a politician messing with something <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, so, they, this whole scene was created uh, just out of the song. So the the Ford is the the actual Ford he saw was a '62. The guy said, and the one here, the one in the mural is a '62. The one on the street is a '64. Uh, so they have a little bit of a different grill work. But so Jackson Brown, how the story, how the song got written, he said was he made it out to California and. Either he lived in the same apartment building as Glenn Fry, who was the singer for the Eagles, or the, very close, and he'd heard him. And so they recorded his song on their first album, and then Jackson Brown recorded it. A different, the same song, but a more of a different version of it. The Eagles is folksy country, and Jackson Brown is, is more folk rock or something. I have never heard Jackson Brown version, so I'm about to listen to that. But I just wanted to make this, uh, just this little short, interesting video of, man, take the time. You know, you get on that big interstate out there, you drive by all of this, and Route 66 is really cool. Um, every every hotel is different. There's a hotel down the street because the train tracks are right up two blocks off. The, the fellow was saying it was built in the 30s. All the stars would, uh, when they'd get off the train or do whatever, they would stay there. Uh, Jackson Brown was there and gave a concert a couple of years ago, and they've named the big wing or rooms and stuff after him. So, talk to people. You know, they've got great stories. And then, stop and see the stuff. You know, learn learn about this stuff. Learn about, you know, I was talking to the guy, and I'm like, you realize that he couldn't write that song today. You know, I'm sitting here in a van that's probably going to do 500,000 miles you know, cars are cars are different. They don't break down as much as they used to. And so what are the chances he ever would have stopped here? Hell he probably would have flown. He wouldn't even if coming from from Canada, he probably would have flown. So there's it's a different time. So stop and learn your learn your history, experience history, experience where things come from. Uh just not on a computer. Just don't don't take what the computer tells you. Get out. Get out from in front of the keyboard and experience life. <laughs> so this is awesome. This is great. All right. Lake Havasu. That's, that's the next stop. So I don't know if I'll film that or not. Probably not. So I'll see you guys in Vegas. I'll put this up Friday, Friday night. So there's just something out there. Just a little bit of interesting, interesting on my tours. No more car troubles. It's been awesome. And see you in Vegas with all the fun folks. Not just the beer. Roll Tide. If you're not subscribed. Look, you're missing out. Hit the button. See ya.